What I tell you, baby, ain't in order to pick them. Paradise found. Yeah, I was keeping this from you. It was a surprise, but uh, it's worth it. One of the biggest fucking joints this side of the city. Got everything here. But the food's good, so we'll stick with that, eh? I used to come around here, well, not by my lonesome, but this was the, the fancy digs that I would get wine and dined. But I'm high roller clients and shit. Uh... Between you and me, I'm looking forward to the... I don't necessarily have to suck a thousand dicks by the time we're finished. Yeah, I know. It's pretty glamorous, all things considered. You wouldn't think a fancy fucking joint like this would exist in the... Hell, but... Yeah, they made it work. And it makes you wonder if heaven really is supposed to be any better than this, cause... Ah, this whole fucking shit shack got everything. Uh, I bought a couple of knives here before, among things. Got some of my favorite dresses, too. There's a whole fucking emporium of uh, makeup and shit. Real nice. Uh, well, you know, I figured that uh, if we was going on our first official date, I would it's splurge a little bit. I had some stuff saving, so hey, here we is. And don't worry about nothing, baby. Tonight, you's with me. We ain't gonna think about nothing. Ain't worried about, you know, the stuff I've been talking about. Let's just have some fun. Well, it's pretty good, huh, too, right? It's edible. You know, I hear rumors that they use real ingredients to make it. Like, uh, I don't know, they do some fancy shit where they, like, grab stuff from, uh... The living world is something? I, I don't know how it works, but... Hey! It don't taste like shit on bread, so... Fucking drink to that, right? Eh? How's your food? I knew you had good taste. New York steak, medium rare? Ah, there you fucking go. None of that well done bullshit. I swear to God, if you had done that, this, this whole thing would be over. I would have... Fucking thrown you out the door and never looked your way again. <laughs> that fucking steak sauce? Oh, that shit's garbage. That's what they call give up sauce, babe. Don't ever do that. Medium rare is fine. If somebody asks for well done, you ask them kindly, but firmly, to fuck off. Yeah? You smiling? Oh, there it is. I ain't seen you do that in a while. Good, good. Maybe it's the alcohol, too. <laughs> yeah, that'll put some uh, fire back in your belly, so to speak. Oh, and uh, this ain't just fucking dinner and drink, baby. There's a show. So you notice the stage over there? Well, one of my favorite fucking guys is gonna be on there pretty soon. Uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, yeah. Xander Cohen. He's a fucking spiffy dude. Pink ass panther, but holy shit, he got chops. It'll be a lot of fun to listen to, eh? <laughs> oh yeah, I used to listen to him a lot. He used to tell uh, comedy bits and shit, but I think he dropped the act and he just does songs now. Covers or some shit. I look like I'm on a good mood? Oh, babe, you know it. I, uh, yeah, I'm having a good time. Real good time. I mean, yeah, the alcohol does help, but, uh, shit. I don't really remember the last time I got out with somebody that wasn't for, uh, business. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's more than, more than just being with a friend. I mean, sure, I go out with Cherry plenty of times, but this is, uh, yeah, I, I'm really liking this. You've, uh, you've been something else, I tell ya. <laughs> Never would've fucking guessed when I found you in that shit shack of a fucking motel room. Then we just wanted to talk, and now look at us, eh? I was gonna ask if you would, uh, tell me a few things about yourself, but you are as quiet as they can be. But... Hey, then again, I, uh, I learned by looking. I got eight eyes, so I know what I'm, uh, know what I'm doing. Yes, I do have eight eyes for real. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you thought these was freckles? No, 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 honey. 
These are eyes. Hold on. See? My big eyes. And then six tiny little eyes. <laughs> oh, you didn't know that, did you? Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll close them. Well, I don't usually put those on, because it freaks people out, but, uh... Mm, oh yeah, I got them. I'm not saying that I stare at you with them, but... Hey. I hope this don't sound kind of fucking weird, but there is something familiar about you. I don't know, I... I've been with a lot of people, so maybe it's just that, but... I, you pull off that suit pretty fucking well, babe, I gotta say. And, uh... No, you, you took a nasty hit, but you, you kind of shrugged it off, too. I mean, most people would be down on their ass after that one, but... Eh. And, uh, I noticed you, uh, you picked up on the cards, too. I mean, yeah, at first you fucking sucked at it, but... It's kind of a natural. You got the face for it. I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking too hard, but... I can't put my finger on it. I mean, I like it. It's a good thing. I do. You sure we ain't met before? Like, I wasn't, like, blackout drunk and we didn't, like, you know, bang or something and that's how you found me again. <laughs> that's happened a few times. No? Yeah, I guess you would've remembered me. <laughs> I'm impossible to forget, babe. I'm addictive. Hmm. Well, whatever. Maybe it's just the drink. It's good. You know, with yours, I, I get really worried about nothing, you know? I don't fucking care. I'll take on this whole fucking city. I guess I'm saying that because, <laughs> yeah, well, I've been here before and one of the last times I was, it was, well, it was with, uh, fucking Valentino. Sorry, I, we don't have to talk about this. I mean, hey, we's having a date. I don't need to get all sour on you. Sure, you want me to talk about that? I mean, it's not a, it's not a bad thing. I promise. This is good. It's, I don't feel, I don't feel bad. I feel really, really happy. I, I guess. Or <laughs> again, maybe it's the sauce. But with you, I just, uh, everything seems to be better. Like, like it all work out okay. It's like, it's like I'm taking something back for myself. This whole thing when I got started, when I was getting into my, um, line of work, well, Val would do this kind of shit. Fancy night and a nice dinner and some drink and make me feel like I was the whole world. I was on top of everything and I was his special little fucking princess, you know, that he could just fucking do what he wanted with and... Well, I, you know, I, I believe that. I let myself believe it for a while. <laughs> a really fucked up part of me would just be like, Look, so what if you fucking wallop you across the face? Yeah, so what if you come out with a bruise or two sometimes? Hey, you got everything, right? You got your money, you got clients who you can fuck, you got a place to be. You got a guy who, well, I was gonna say who looks out for you, but more like looking out for something that he owns. Oh. So, Cover yourself with that lie and you just tell yourself whatever you need to, to to get to sleep. But that ain't how it's supposed to be. And you know what's made me realize that? You know what's really put all this in perspective for me? It's been you. You've shown me that I don't have to be with people who treat me like shit. And that ain't how it has to always be. No, oh, I know you just listen, and we're just kind of around, but you've just turned it all around. That's why I'm trying to fucking figure you out. No, it's it's really weird. Like, you can't be this fucking innocent, can you? No, I don't believe that. You and me are down here for a reason. No, we were bad people. Something. And I ain't judging you. I don't care if you're bad. Like, so fucking what? You're dating a whore, so... It just, it's, I'm just, yeah, I'm waiting for the trap door to swing open, you know? Like, when's the mask gonna come off, hey, you know? When's this guy gonna fucking sock me across the face or some shit like that? And he ain't never done it, and it's, it's nice. It really is. 
and uh <laughs> sorry <laughs> now i'm rambling i guess i'm getting kind of drunk yeah uh no 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 I, I i don't mean to uh to sound upset i'm not uh what i mean is you you've helped me you, you don't know how much you've done for me can't really express that just by by being my pal um i know this is like you know our first real date but i figured since we're out here i wanted to tell you that and how much it means and i don't know what's gonna happen i really don't okay you know i don't know if this is gonna be a thing i don't want to, to get myself all wrapped up in that shit again but now i'm just sort of waking up and realizing that it ain't always have to be so bad That's a really interesting feeling to to have now. Um, so, you know, if anything, this is my way of, of thanking you for, uh, for being there for me all this time. <laughs> ah, shit. Getting a little hot under the collar. <laughs> uh, I think it is the drink. Look, uh, come here. Mwah. You, uh, you something else. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Thanks. Thanks for sticking with me. And, I, I, yeah. I, I know we's out in the open right now, and I had problems with that, and you got sick, and then you got hurt, and I'm pretty sure you fucking know who is. Probably got eyes and ears everywhere, but I don't fucking care. Let the assholes look. I want him to see this. I want him to see that I'm with somebody who actually cares about me and shit. That's you. Still. Still. I do wish you would, I don't know, say something or write something down that would be a little bit more informative about who you is. <laughs> sure would fucking help me. But, like you told me before, it ain't all clicking. Maybe that'll come back. Time, right? Yeah, I don't know. I guess I get a little clingy or possessive. Or, I don't know something. I'm used to. I'm used to always being on the stage. I'm used to the eyes always looking at me. I, much as I uh, hate the lifestyle, I sort of love it too. There's there's a thrill you get from always being on top. We're just always staring at you. We've talked about that a few times. It's true. Like a drug. That's how it all sort of works together, you know? That's part of why it's so hard to get away from. Uh, what I mean is like an abusive uh, fucking relationship. That's why I'm stuck. Like, I could probably get away from Val if I try to more, but... Uh, you just, you get used to it. You're used to the drugs and the alcohol and, uh... All the money and the attention, and it, it gets to you. You start swimming in it. Fuck, what am I saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm I'm off my ass. Sorry. <laughs> this was supposed to be about you and me having a great time. But I am. I am having a great time. I love talking to you about this. Opening up to you, well, it means a lot to me. It means... It means the world. Sorry, you know, I'm not getting too snappy for you, but it just is what it is, you know. <sighs> I spend my time fighting off people so much, it gets tiresome, you know. Telling people to fuck off and get bent and putting all these protective layers on and... Look, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm an icy bitch. You catch me on a bad day, I would I would probably tell you to fuck off. And I probably will at some point. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I hope you know what you're getting into, okay? I'm not perfect. I know that you think I'm some kind of sweet ball of sunshine and that because I come to you when I'm feeling bad that I must be so great. I'm an asshole. You gotta understand, okay? Just know what you're getting into. I'm a real piece of shit sometimes. And I just, I hope I don't fucking swing hard at you, you know? I don't know if I can predict myself and people in a relationship is that really what you want sometimes that ain't enough i guess you've made your bed with it eh? <laughs> uh, 
All right, babe, I guess I'm just swimming in it now. That's what happens when you drink and then you have a little bit of too much of it. That is what you want. Oh, shit, sweetie, you was, uh, you was fucked in the head. But, uh, you know what? I kind of like that. <laughs> okay, okay. Enough of that shit. Let me, uh, <laughs> I just remembered something kind of funny. <laughs> so, was, you know, I was getting kind of scuzzed just like this, right? Alright, so, I'm in one of my little hookup dives. It's late night, I'm got, <laughs> I got a little time for one more client. Or I gotta fucking head home. And, uh, you know, my policy is don't fucking scratch the paint. You don't touch until you pay. I got a very strict policy on that. So, you know, I'm I'm a little off it. I've been through a few dicks for the night, and I'm kind of, you know, I'm just trying to freshen up and just uh, knock a few back and get back on my uh, on my ass, so to speak. Some asshole comes up. He's like, I don't know, he's eight shots or something in the real fucking big dude, and he's like, you know, does the whole like, oh hey dude, I wanna fuck you, that kind of shit. It's like whatever, I don't care. I'm just ready to get my pay and get out with it. So. Same thing, it's like, alright, whatever, what's the budget? What what's the budget? What are we what are we doing? Uh asshole doesn't pay. Instead he, you know, puts his dumb fucking arm on my shoulder and he like tries to make a move, tries to grab my fucking tits. Now honey, I can maybe tolerate one little touch in the shoulder, you know. Maybe maybe the guy's just a little too drunk. I'll give him that, but I ain't seeing no money. Asshole goes right for the fucking goods. <laughs> no, 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 no. So so there's a fork on the fucking, uh, the bar counter. Don't tell me why there is one. There just is. Grab that thing. Jam it through the fucker's eye. And he, start, he starts fucking screaming and running around. It's like, oh, my eye, my eye. Like a moron. And he trips over himself. And I think he hits like a table. He, like, he starts bleeding out of his fucking eye. And he slips on it, the moron. So it gets... Jammed further into his eye because he lands on a table. <laughs> this idiot. And it goes further in. So he's screaming and flailing around. And he grabs the fork and he tries to pull it out. But the dumbass takes out his whole fucking eye. Oh, so he's just, he's running around like an idiot. And I'm just, I'm just having a ball now. I'm, I'm, I'm down. I'm so, I'm so out of it that I'm laughing Oh, it was, it was great, and, uh, you know, he had to go after that, because, you know, people know me, they, they know who I am, I'm angel fucking dust, so, this asshole gets the heave-ho, he's had enough, <laughs> I think the bouncer, <laughs> the asshole, he's asking for help, bouncer picks him up, rips the fork out with his eye, and they hand it back to him in an empty glass, and says, come back tomorrow, and we'll get the rest for you. I don't know what the fuck that meant, but I was so drunk I didn't get it. Made my goddamn night. <laughs> I guess I should feel bad because the next morning I was short and, uh, you know, Val wasn't so happy, but it was worth it. <laughs> I tell you, it's the, it's the small things, you know. <laughs> you really gotta work with what you got. And, you know, I, yeah, sure, I could've blown him, but look. I mean blown him with the gun, not the other way. He didn't pay, remember? Uh, but uh, anyway, it's the small things. Make use of what you got is the moral of that story. In this case, it was a fork. I could have used a knife or a gun or something, but uh, that's not good for reputation. People don't like having you around the bar, especially me, if you're too violent. Still, <laughs> I don't know why, I guess. <laughs> I guess I just remembered that. Fuck, I don't remember the last time I told someone that story. Ah, oh, shit. Thanks for listening. Again. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Alright, look, let's, uh... Let's go find some good seats. I want to catch the show. Get a few front rows, you know? Front rows with my... Very special friend. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, can you can you hold me up? I'm a little wasted. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Yeah, come here. 
I think I owe you this too. Mwah. Oh, it's been a while since I did that. Yeah, maybe we do that more often, eh? <laughs> Come on, let's go. 